No Zumi going with the Apu. Interesting. I think. Did you happen to know that Azumi went random for this entire set? <laughs> Drongo in the jungle. Drong Drongo in the jungle. Ozumi oh, going random this entire set in Grand Finals just kind of tracks for me. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, why would you do that? Because he's Ozumi. <laughs> it's like, why not? Who, who's going to stop me? That's their job. It is interesting to see Ducky not pulling out the Apuna versus Ozumi. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit surprised. But then again, you know, this Vandal seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah, like the Seth also did well in Winner's Finals. That's true. He took a game. Ooh. All right, got him with the shock ball. Thank God he made it back to stage. For our new viewers, uh, Vandal's up B is somewhat unique. You can actually act out of it, but you don't get it back until you land on the stage again. So when you get caught with that thing off stage, you basically say goodbye to your stock. All right, nice burst, right, nice yes. counterattack. Oh, oh! Uzumi <laughs> SD counter at four. Uzumi has SD'd four times this tournament. Is it only four? It's, it's really five. only four. It's five? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? I counted the one where he just ran off stage and died. Okay. After he won, after he killed him. I was just like, okay, That's that four. doesn't count. <laughs> okay, fine, it's four. It's four. <laughs> Zumi would have said that counted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weren't you the one who made the tweet about how Izumi SD'd three times and still won the, set, won the game? Yeah. It made yeah. no sense. <laughs> it made no sense. Look, look. He's one of the only players that can actually do that. <laughs> You lost every stock to yourself. How did you still win? <laughs> Only me can beat me. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, that was Ooh. really smooth. Rubber ducky. I want to see okay. more of that. You get slapped. <laughs> they haven't used shock ball again. There we go. I was about to say they're saving it. Vandal forward smash is not a move you see very often. No, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> there are other smash attacks you could use. Bear! Nice! There are other tilts you could use that are still just better. Yeah. <laughs> still, though, look at that. Rubber Ducky taking game number one in grands. I mean, to be fair, Azubi did just sort of fast fall off stage Shush. at zero. Shush. <laughs> Shush. Can't argue with facts. All right, let's get to game number two right now. Ozumi versus Rubber Ducky, game number two, it looks like. Oh, okay, we get a character change from Rubber Ducky, actually. Interesting. I see, I see a ukulele, too. I see is some ukulele and some Cyber Sephira. Oh, Excuse already me. stole the projectile. I haven't, I haven't played Cyber. It's just a skin. I don't care. <laughs> 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 it sounds like no, you seriously, she, she, grind. she looks like Sector from uh, Mortal Kombat. It's awesome. Yeah, no, immediately it's stole that projectile. Alien vibe right now. <laughs> yeah, she's she looks like a mix of like Predator and Sector, honestly. So, so I'm curious why we see the switch here from Rubber Ducky. Look, I like how y'all say she's a cat, but with this skin. I'm getting mad rabbit vibes. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, disciple. Is there anything that can I do that would really give you rabbit vibes? Look at the ears and legs and everything. There are no ears. That's her hair. <laughs> her hair looks like some rabbit ears out here, bro. Look at that. <laughs> Flipping and a flopping all over the place and all that. Right. This kid looks very good with the bunny ears. It looks. Amazing. I... All right, I the patience from Ozumi. <laughs> <laughs> See? What's patience? He's just, he just had to move in his chess game. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's playing chess at the same time. 
Ozumi was legitimately playing chess in the middle of a bracket match earlier. Is Ozumi actually multi tourneying with between Brawlout and a chess tournament know. and just playing them both at the same time? Look, having <laughs> met Ozumi in real life, he might actually do that. He's not playing F and F. Not playing this. You know, we actually don't see all that many Yukas use the Whoa. actual... Ooh, nice. You don't see all that many Yukas actually eat the projectiles. Like, it's such a good tool. Like, you see that dust ball? No, you can just delete it from the screen if you want. Yeah, that's honestly something that, like, is a huge differentiator between a Yuka that I can beat and a Yuka that just makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> what, the fact that they delete your projectiles? Yeah, like... Okay. Groovy there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> the slow <laughs> They're both just walking slowly towards each other. Oh man, watching these two is a treat. <laughs> It really is! <laughs> it really is! Like, who dashes first? <laughs> we'll slowly walk, we'll slowly approach each other like on some JoJo reference. He's just, just walking <laughs> forward menacingly. Menacingly. Wee woo! Wee woo! Wee woo! Okay, the burst. Ooh. Another one of those, and it'll be stuck. Oh! There we go, Ozumi taking yeah. game number two. We're sitting one to one now. See you, forgive it. Thanks for dropping by, man. All right, up next. Game three. We're gonna go to Festive Jungle. I gotta look at. <laughs> Alright. We got the Sephira from Rubber Ducky, but Ozumi got Tyson Stein. That's. that's, uh, unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> When you random and you basically get your main. Yep. Olaf does have more variants than some of the other characters, so. True. But then again, I, I don't. I, I personally do not count Uga Tuga or Acolyte, to be honest. <laughs> They're just stat changes. You leave, you leave the cousins out. Tysenstein, however, Tysenstein has new moves. Yeah. Uga Tuga and Acolyte, though. Look, Still, chances to Olaf and Rando. The same guy. He's just fit. Yeah. Spent some time on an island paradise, became a productive member of society, and got fit. <laughs> you went straight body positive. Exactly. He went all positive. He did not go all positive. Okay, he's fine. probably a dick. He's probably a dick. <laughs> 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 I lost a lot of weight, and you could too if you weren't so lazy about it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, that's mean. It sounds totally in his character, though. No, he. No, that's in Tyson's character, not Olaf. That's, that's in Tyson's I'm character. Still saying... Tyson Look, is in his ear, bro. Olaf, telling him what to Olaf's say. Olaf's always been the muscle, all right? Tyson's been the brains. <laughs> He's pulling that in that man's ears. <laughs> Literally, no, he's no, no. right when behind you, when his When you finish Ugatuga's arcade mode, they like, they like, turn into like productive members of society. They chill yeah, out. I remember, I remember. I remember that story. To respond to a question in the chat, the bunny ears will be distributed via email probably tomorrow. It depends on whether or not the service that I use, well, sometimes there's a bit of a delay. But they will go out and you'll receive them in your inbox. 
So whatever email address you use for Smash GG, you'll be able to find your cosmetic code there. This has been a very good game for Rubber Ducky, by the way. Yeah, no, especially since Ozumi got Tyson Stein. For real. Oh, I was like, where the bear? Mm. Yeah, it oh, is interesting. Wow. Stepped I up. Honestly, what? don't think Azumi's Tyson sign is quite as good as his other Olafs. Like, I would even go so far to say is that Tyson sign is one of the few characters that Azumi doesn't have the best version of in the game. Here's the thing. Like, I think Bob Dole's Tyson sign is better. The biggest difference, the biggest difference that I think might actually throw Azumi off is the lack of Glacier Punch. Because Azumi goes for some really ridiculous Glacier Punch stuff, and the fact that he doesn't have that kind of changes his game plan a little bit. It, you're saying it, that now, it, and then he was playing basketball with this. Here's, with this, uh, here's <laughs> All right, so here's the thing about it. The fact that he doesn't have Glacier Punch actually forces him to play, like, a tiny bit safer, which might actually be Ozumi's downfall. <laughs> <laughs> like, he doesn't have the ridiculous mid-air attack that he just wants to go for. It looks like he don't even need it right now. <laughs> nah, he charged up that dynamo, thank god it expired before Rubber Ducky got there. <laughs> About to punch him to the next arc. Yeah, you can see that little icon that appears next to his ammo whenever he charges that up. That's his dynamo. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> okay. I like how Azumi even fast falls the Olaf dash attack, <laughs> which is just suicide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you basically, like, they, no matter what, you're not living through that. There isn't a single stage in this game that's tall enough to let you live through that. All right. Here we go. Game number four. And it looks like Ozumi Random Nightmare. Yes. Tournament point for Ozumi. This man might walk away with 25 of my dollars. <laughs> Hey, 25 of Angry Mobs dollars. 25 of Angry Mobs dollars, yeah, but I'm the one who pays it out. They just reimburse me. <laughs> like, man, I've paid Azumi, like... i paid Azumi so much. A couple much. hundred dollars over the past couple months. <laughs> Azumi's too good at video games. Yeah. A slight bit. I don't so we do see the Apu not coming out from Ducky at this point. Are we gonna... Well, we finally saw the Apu not from Ducky. Yeah. Oh, Azumi went too deep, <laughs> got too green. Right, that's five. That's, that's five. five. <laughs> now we're at five. Six. Look at his... Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. What am I watching here? Ozumi, you better not be throwing. Everybody gets one. <laughs> yeah, but that was two. Come on now. That was six. <laughs> okay. If Jeez. we're if we're gonna be technical about it, I'm gonna say that SDs after you've already won don't count. No, we're still at six. We're still yeah, at without six. that oh, one, we're right. still six. Oh my god. All right, so for the next brawl off, I'm absolutely putting the SD counter up in this overlay so that when Ozumi plays, we have the counter. Oh, it definitely was on purpose. Every SD is never an accident with Ozumi. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> They're taunting each other mid stage. Like. You can't really call it sandbagging when he's still winning the event. That was the thing. <laughs> yeah. Many other comp many other contestants could probably say they're a sandbagging. I'm like, no, that's just still Zumi. That's <laughs> now he's got rage. Yeah, but Well, it seems like he needed it. Alright, there we go. Ooh, interesting spot dodge. And with that, Ozumi has brought it to last stock. <laughs> this is almost like when I'm for when forgiven. Oh no, got him in the vortex. This is his payback for what Rubber Ducky did to forgive him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you thought I forgot, didn't you? 
Is so Ozumi really gonna pull this out after SDing twice? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, he will! <laughs> Okay, so a rush down, <laughs> waiting out the first and punishing it is a perfectly valid strategy. Until we just did that in Brawl Out. <laughs> well, to, to be fair, that's always been a valid strategy in Brawl Out. I mean, you still get a lot of iframes. Wow, though. Ozumi taking first place. Rubber Ducky taking second. In third place, Blue Shadow, and in fourth, Tunrocks. So. Once again, thank you, everyone, for playing. Loyalty Gaming is Blue Shadow's sponsor. Ah, yes. Thank you. Well, thank you to everyone who stopped by to watch. Disciple, you were a treat to commentate with, as always. Was a pleasure. I love you guys. <laughs> we love you too, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, a little bit of news before we leave. Uh, as previously stated, we are getting the VODs up for previous Brawl Offs. It's taking me a little bit longer than I expected, but you can expect Brawl Off 48's VODs to start going up tomorrow. And hopefully over the course of the next week, all the rest of the VODs will be up. So we will be caught up by the end of the week. So Brawl Off 48, 49, 50, and 51 should be all up by this time next week. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah. For Brawl Off 52 for next month, we're considering running a redemption bracket. If you would like to see that happen, please let us know. It's going to be based on player interest. Uh, it's going to have its own prize. So anyone who doesn't get first or second in the main bracket will have another bracket to play in. Uh, potentially the next day. So if you want to go for a shot at the second prize or the basically the third place prize, we'll have a new bracket for you. And... Uh, yeah, anything and else? that off will be on April 10th. If all goes as scheduled, yes, it'll be on April 10th. Uh, anything you guys want to plug real quick? Um, follow me on Twitter, follow I me. guess. <laughs> Disciple? Quick, click my name in the chat and just follow my chat. <laughs> that sounds good. Disciple, you play a lot of Ninjala. You... I need to drop in on more of your streams, man. It's just like the timing doesn't work out anymore after I moved. Yeah. Yeah, that's six hours. That's six to seven hour difference. Yeah. Don't follow the zoomies. <laughs> Don't follow the zoomies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh my God. <laughs> gentlemen, thank you so much for streaming with me tonight. It was fantastic. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And uh, 